So I have to show you this because this is just this is too cool and it ties in too perfectly to today's unboxing video. This is an original illustration done by Natalie Metzger, one of my very good friends. Natalie uh, is the one who designed and created the bust of Ham Shackle Pig, my vlog mascot here on the channel. And this is a picture of me and my wife and our various friends as the crew of the Enterprise. Uh, surrounded by tribbles for no reason whatsoever other than it's funny. This is me right here, you can tell. And it looks exactly like me. I get to be the captain with a tribble on my head. This is my beautiful wife, Nikki, as uh, as Counselor Troy, or is it uh, is it the medical officer? I'm not sure. But again, spot on. Uh, this is our friend John Smar up here as Q, conjuring the tribbles. His wife, Laura Burns. Uh, Brian McLaughlin uh, and his wife, uh, Helen. Uh, Mer Lafferty, my Ditch Diggers co-host on the Ditch Diggers podcast, uh, and her husband Jim. And so that's all of us on the bridge of the Enterprise, Star Trek The Next Generation, surrounded by Tribbles. I uh, I am stunned by how accurate my illustration is. Seriously, you got to go close on that to really appreciate it. Uh, Brian, for some reason, is enjoying the Tribbles, and I'm telling him to shut up because I'm usually telling Brian to shut up. So that's so. Thank you so much, Natalie. I have no idea how I inspire you to keep creating. Such amazing things for no reason. I am unworthy of your talents and your gifts, but uh, I appreciate them all the same. Welcome back, everybody. And no, this video is not going to have anything to do with writing. But listen, folks, you cannot live by words alone. It's not about writing all the time. You know, what do we talk about on Twitter? Self-care. We hear about it all the time. Self-care, taking some time for ourselves, the fallacy of the 40-hour work week, the grinding teeth of the capitalist machine, and how we need to extricate ourselves from that and practice a little self-care. And how that can come in the form of a hot cup of tea, maybe, you know, getting to know your body a little better, or it can come in the form of unboxing useless crap for YouTube views, which is exactly what we're gonna do today. Uh, I just spit all over the box, that's really attractive. No, but uh, I just got yesterday, uh, came home and found the new Star Trek uh, Mission Crate from Loot Crate, which, yes, I am still a subscriber of for several reasons. Uh, the first being, so if you remember, uh, the, I unboxed the first one that they did uh, a few months ago. That one I got as a Christmas present. That was supposed to come out in December. Uh, it's now August, and this is the only other one they managed to get out in that time. It's been a spectacular shit show to follow. It's one of the reasons I'm still subscribed to the box because they keep sending out these emails apologizing for the delays and promising tracking information. Like they even at one point sent everybody who subscribed a completely different box of like previous Star Trek crap that they'd done in a bunch of their, their regular loot crates as like to tide you over and to say sorry we know this is a shit show and we're driving a clown car around. But uh, so that was one reason I just couldn't I couldn't give up the shit show. It was too entertaining to watch. Uh, the other reason is I still love uh, Star Trek, uh, though DS9 is it will always be, be my favorite. I grew up with uh, The Next Generation. Uh, it was my first introduction to science fiction, my first introduction to really awesome episodic TV. And I'm a Star Trek mark. And, uh, and again, sometimes self-care is unboxing uh, a bunch of mystery crap uh, to distract yourself from the world uh, being on fire. So that's what we're going to do today. The theme of this particular mission crate is, uh, I can show you that because I blacked out my address. I'm just showing you the, the box here. Pretty plain this time. The last box was really dope. They did like the Galileo shuttle from the original uh, Enterprise. But the theme of this one is uh, Way of the Warrior, which is yet another reason I say subscribe to it because who doesn't love Klingons, man? I'm assuming there's something Batleth related in here and I'm, and I'm all about that. So we're gonna unbox this thing. And see, uh, and see what the, how they managed to do after all the trials and tribulations of getting this thing out. Um, oh, and, the, and yet another reason I'm doing this is because for some, I, I still have no idea why, the last unboxing video I did of one of these, of the, of the first uh, Mission Crate, got like 2,000 views. So I could, not, I could not do it again. So let's get Daddy some views. So when you cut the tape and you open the box, this is what you're going to see. I see Cisco. I see DS9 Wharf, which is awesome. I just said I love DS9. Uh, okay, let's dig in here. Again, very plain design on the box this month. I'm a, little I'm a little disappointed with that. They set the bar really high. The box was like one of the best parts of the last mission crate. Uh, what do we do here? What do we do here? <laughs> okay, we'll do these first. So right off the bat, 
boom, we got some, uh, we got some Klingon Empire socks. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it had writing on it. That's just the, that's just the corporate jazz. So yeah, we've got uh, socks bearing the uh, the Klingon uh, Empire logo. Uh, they are from BioWorld, and they're crew socks, which you can see by the little the little crew tops there. I'm not a huge crew socks, a wearer of crew socks, which doesn't matter because like these seem a little flimsy, and I feel like I'll put my foot through both of them. I basically walk on prehistoric creatures. That's what my feet look like. So I, I go through socks pretty fast. Uh, so, and also socks with Loot Crate are kind of like, it's socks and coffee mugs is their go-to uh, for, for licensed crap. So eventually we were going to get some socks. So those are your Klingon Empire socks, if you're a socks person. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, I think we got, oh, okay, so we got a couple of badges. We do need stinking badges, apparently. Okay, so, because even though this has nothing to do with Star Trek The Next Generation, which is what the box says, and nothing to do with The Way of the Warrior, here's a uh, Star Trek Discovery Captain's uh, badge for you. Uh, because we got to pimp the current show, man. It's all about that. It's one of the reasons they probably licensed the box to Loot Crate in the first place, was to pro promote the show. So we'll forgive them some obligatory shilling even if it's not thematically consistent. And you know I'm all about being thematically consistent. So that's here, it's a single pin back. Star Trek Discovery Starfleet badge, uh, captain's pin. It's cool, it's a cool little pin. I like that it's little, you know, I can see you can stick it in my, if you're, if you're someone who pins a lot of, of pins to things, like backpacks or hats or whatever, um, that's little enough to kind, of, to kind of go among them easily and not take up a lot of real estate. So if you're a pin fan, it's a nice pin. <clears throat> this is really cool. <clears throat> so actually, staying on the theme of Way of the Warrior, we have a, a Klingon badge. Um, why it has Captain Picard's face on it, I, I don't know. Uh, just to represent the next generation. But yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool there. This is actually uh, magnetic. It's got a magnetic clasp, as explained on the back here, which is pretty cool. I like the idea of badges and pins that you don't have to, you know, poke a bunch of holes in your shit to affix. I like the Klingon, uh, the Klingon script there. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's legit. I, I, my, uh, my colloquial Klingon is not what it used to be. I did own the Klingon dictionary at one point. I was that big a Star Trek nerd as a kid. I had the encyclopedia, the blueprints with no bathrooms, the, uh, the dictionaries, the whole deal. So that is your Klingon uh, Empire symbol magnetic badge. Very cool. I like that. Uh, what else do we have here? What the hell is this? So we have a thing. It's a, oh my God. All right, all right. Stop the, stop the effing presses here, people. I give Loot Crate a lot of shit. And frankly, they, they deserve it. Especially that whole powered by Loot Crate thing. And what they mean is, you know, stuffed full in a fulfillment warehouse in Pennsylvania by someone making minimum wage. But anyway... Loot Crate, or whoever came up with this, knocked it out of the park. This is a Mirror Universe Tribble. I don't know if you can see that. It's a plush Tribble, uh, and, but it's a Mirror, but it's from the evil Mirror Universe. Mirror Universe, and it's like in a containment kit. Warning, always hungry, eats everything, do not feed. I know the glare is really bad there. I don't know if you can if you can see that. So it's like in a hazardous case, and it has uh, it has warnings, and it has mirror universe triple tips. Mirror universe tribbles are typically cranky and always uh, ravenous. They snap at most humanoids except Klingons, whom they adore, of course, because in because <laughs> this is really clever, man. I don't know if this is if this is from something. Like one of the one of the expanded like universe novels or a show that I haven't seen or an episode of like the new series I haven't seen, but I don't remember this from like the the can the Star Trek canon. So if they came up with this on their own, that's genius. So in in the Star Trek canon in the regular universe, Tribbles hate Klingons, obviously, but because this is a mirror universe Tribble, they love Klingons. That's hilarious. Most Federation worlds ban the import and sale of mirror universe Tribbles. Check local laws. Use extreme caution when feeding. 
Uh, QMX is not responsible for lost limbs. QMX obviously is the maker of this. I want to open this and show you. Is it taped? I don't want to damage the case because the case is so dope. Oh, cool. Very cool. So this is... <laughs> this is your Mirror Universe Tribble plush. And it's got fangs. Mirror Universe Tribbles, of course, all Klingon pets have fangs. So it's, it's red and black and furry and lovely. And that is your Mirror Universe Tribbles, who love Klingons uh, and hate humanoids. And that's its, uh, that's its little its little biohazard case that it came in. This is totally going on my desk. This is really cool. This is a really cool thing. This is the kind of crap that makes it worth it. So that's your... That was a good item for this box. I'm going to give it up to him on that one. Star Trek Mirror Universe Tribble. Uh, get yours today. Also, if that's a box exclusive, that's, that's a really good one. All right, let's move on to the figure. Because we're getting one of these in every box, apparently. I say every. They've only done, again, two so far. But this is the, uh, the Master Series uh, Limited Edition. Also, I think, from QMX. So that's the box. It's, uh, it's going to be Worf. DS9 Worf, too, which is awesome. I really like that. DS9 Worf and DS9, like I said, those are my favorites. That's very cool. They usually have a window. So that's that. I'll show you the rest of the box. Look, they got the whole DS9 cast. That's really cool. And then Worf, and it has a little, a little bio of Worf on the back there. Uh, and then they usually have, yeah, they have a door. So you can keep it mid-in box if you want to and still see the figure. So that's a drawing of what the figure looks like. And then that's the figure itself. Which is, that's, that's pretty badass looking. What I like is they don't tape these, so if I'm careful, I can actually open it and not screw up the box. It's not a huge deal, but if you're like a fanatical collector, which let's face it, a lot of Star Wars nerds, uh, Star Trek, I'm sorry, Star Trek nerds are, uh, that's a big deal. So, take this thing. Yeah. Oh, so the Batleth is even separate. That's cool. All right, so that's the, uh, that's Worf, looking all badass. And his uh, Baldrick and uh, DS9 era Starfleet uniform. Then they got the Batleth taped here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, this is all dead air. Scotch tape equals dead air in an unboxing video. So that's your bat. So I said I wanted something Batleth related. Um, maybe something bigger and not, and not plastic, but that's cool. So this is the Batleth that comes separate. And then you affix it. In his hands, if I can do that, if I can do that, I'll have to cut this later for time. This is actually really hard. Come on. Come on, Eileen. There we go. That's one hand. Can we go? Can we do it for two? Can we do it? Can we make it happen? Did I really just reference Dexy's Midnight Runners? Yes, I did. Oh, fuck it. That's close enough. So that's Worf. That's Worf uh, getting ready to deliver the coup de grace on an enemy uh, with his batleth. With his mighty, mighty batleth. Uh, this is really cool. I dig. I actually dig this a lot. It's a nice detail. Uh, I love the Worf face on Worf there. I'll put this next to the uh, Locutus of Borg one that we got in the first box. But I'm totally keeping that. because that's, re that's really cool. So that's your Worf uh, DS9 figure, Way of the Warrior. And yet we're not done, folks. What else do we have? Oh, got to have, okay, so the obligatory decal. There's your uh, Klingon Empire. That's actually really cool. That's a cool rendering of the, uh, the Klingon Empire symbol. This is a sticker for your, uh, for your laptop or, you know, whatever you do. It'll go on my laptop for sure. I put the Borg Resistance 1. On my, on my new laptop that I got not too long ago. Or laptop case, rather. My spec case. Oh, and uh, like last time, we got a, uh, a promo for Star Trek Online. That's a Mission Crate exclusive. Uh, Star Trek Online is the premier free-to-play MMORPG. Explore the stories and expanded universe of Star Trek in space and on the ground with fully customizable captains, ships, and crews. Owners of this flyer can redeem the key below to claim the Klingon Defense Force Starter Pack... In Star Trek Online, PC only, PC gamers represent, since 1992. Uh, the pack contains a Tier 1 Barolf Bird of Prey starship, ground and space gear, an exclusive loot crate emote, uh, emote, and more. So here's the deal. I'm going to flash that, 
And if you uh, if you play Star Trek Online, feel free to go and use that first come first serve and uh, and enjoy this promo from my uh, Star Trek Mission Crate because I don't I'm not going to play this. Uh, I have no time. And that's everything in the box except for the spoiler card. But the spoiler card is fun in of itself because again they make the spoiler card look like a pad from Star Trek: The Next uh, Generation, which is cool. I enjoy the design. Um, Again, the box is a little plain. It's got the it's got the motto in the front. It's got the but I'm I'm a little disappointed with the design of the box this month. So yeah, let's do some let's use our spoiler card and do some quick recap here. We have uh so mission 002, because again, it's only the second box we've gotten out. Way of the Warrior. They say the only people who can really handle the Klingons are the Klingons. So when a Klingon fleet arrives at Deep Space Nine, Lieutenant Commander Worf is brought in to learn their motives. What he discovers leads to the start of the Federation Klingon War, uh, the uh, the infamous plotline from uh, from Deep Space Nine. So we have our Lieutenant Commander Worf Mini Master, which is very cool. That's a very cool figure. If you're into figures, or you're into having a lot of toys in your office or your workspace, which I am, my office is covered in crap. It drives my wife insane. Uh, that's a really cool figure. We've got our Mirror Universe Tribble, uh, which I love this thing. I really do. I, this is such a cool idea. Uh, the trouble with Mirror Universe Tribbles? Fur fangs and they multiply like crazy. Luckily, unlike most Tribbles, they have a strange affinity for Klingons, making them an ideal companion for warriors. So, that, <coughs> so that's your, uh, your ideal companion for warriors. I gotta sh I'll show it one more time because it it's, it's so damn cute. That's your, uh, that's your Mirror Universe Klingon Tribble plush. Very clever. You've got your uh, Klingon socks, which, uh, again, are kind of, they, they feel kind of, they feel and look kind of cheap, and I feel like it's a cop-out they didn't do a t-shirt this month. Like, they're just like, we'll just throw on some socks and call it a day. For how long you have to wait for this box and the premium loot crate charges for this crap, there should be a t-shirt in this box. I'm sorry. That's, that's just, that's just straight up. That's, the, the socks are a cop-out. <coughs> We've got our Klingon emblem badge, our magnetic badge, which is cool. I dig that. We've got our Klingon sticker, uh, which is a cool design, and love stickers. My laptop can always use a few more. And we've got our Star Trek Discovery uh, lapel pin, which, again, has nothing to do with anything, but we have to shill the new series. That's what this is all about. Uh, so there it is, folks. That is your uh, second Star Trek Mission Crate Way of the Warrior. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not blown away. I really love the Tribble. The Tribble is like the money in that. And the figure's cool. Um, it's not the most amazing box. I feel like with this theme, they could have done more. It could have been more focused. Uh, they could have done some other cool things instead of just the Tribble. Socks are a cop-out. But, uh, but I, you know, this is, this is, this is gonna go on my desk. This is gonna go on my desk. Uh, this is, I'll pin this to something. I'll pin both of those to something. I'll put the sticker on my laptop. I'm going to use everything in here, and I'll give the socks away. So I guess I can't bag on it that much. Uh, what did you think? Hit the comments. Let me know what you thought of the contents of the box, what you thought of the video, what you're thinking of the Star Trek Mission Crate, and the continuing shit show that it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this special unboxing here on Angry Writer. Uh, don't forget to check out my regular weekly vlog, especially if you're here for writing videos, because that's where I talk about writing. Um, and I will have more special uh, writing focused videos coming up with some very special guest stars. I'm working on a lot of fun stuff for the rest of the year here on the channel. Uh, so please like, share, subscribe, and do hit that uh, little bell button to be notified when I put out new videos. Um, until our next unboxing, which of this box, who the hell knows when that's going to be. <laughs> I don't even think they've released a theme for the next one or even like a hopeful date for the next one yet they were just trying to get this one out but until uh, whenever that happens i'll be back with it uh we'll see how well this video does compared to the last one pretty sure that was a fluke but uh anyway uh thanks for watching folks i'll see you next time same matt time same matt channel